So before the video even begins, um, this is a disclaimer if you don't like the sound of popping skin, um, you should just go ahead and click off because it's very, you know, yeah. If you don't like the sound of popping skin, do not watch this video. Hello everyone, so if you didn't see the title in this video, I'm going to be piercing my conch if you don't know what that is. It's like in your ear. It's a weird thing, but it's supposed to help with migraines and stuff, and I think it's really cute. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I've pierced my third and fourth, but I took out my fourth. I wanted it to close. I didn't really like it. I've pierced my cartilage and a cartilage on this side, but then I took out this one because I didn't like it. And I pierced my nose, So and none of them have gotten infected. This one's gotten a tiny keloid, but that's very normal with nose piercings. This is not a tutorial, and I am not promoting piercing yourself I say you should just go to a professional but I'm gonna do it myself but if you are gonna end up doing it yourself please use like all the precautions and do it very safely um, and do your research but do not take this video as a tutorial because I am not a professional and I'm just having fun so I'm gonna show you what I so before we even do anything I'm gonna put my hair Back. It might not be cute, but I just need to be able to have like full vision. <laughs> Look at that. So I actually have this little mason jar labeled hydrogen peroxide. So that's what I like to clean and like sanitize everything with beforehand. Um, also, I washed my hands and I sanitized and I dipped my fingertips into the hydrogen peroxide. And so yeah, my hands are completely clean. This has been soaking. This is the jewelry. It's been soaking in hydrogen peroxide all night and all days so far today. It's a bendable jewelry, so you just bend it, the wire. So the jewelry is 16 gauge, and so I got 14 gauge needles because your needle should be um, a gauge bigger than the jewelry. So I just have a pack. I'm only gonna end up using one, obviously, but yeah. Also the needles in their little packs are 100% sterilized um, beforehand. But yeah, it's pre-sterilized, so. So I just dipped my Q-tip in the hydrogen peroxide and I'm just going to sterilize the front and the back very good. This is a very important step. You need to be super sterile. I'm using a Sharpie to dot where I want the piercing to. So I marked it and then once I got it in the place that I wanted it, I put my phone flash behind to make sure there were no veins and there were so then I just moved it down a little bit and now there are no veins in the way. The reason why you want to do this is because it'll just bleed a lot if there's a vein in the way. I'm just doing one last quick sterilize of the jewelry with the hydrogen peroxide. I almost dropped it on the floor that would not have been good. One more round of hand sanitizer and hydrogen peroxide all over my hands. I just am rubbing it in. It's not good for your skin, but I mean, when you're doing piercings, you gotta be as cautious as possible. So that's what I'm doing. Hydrogen peroxide smells like body odor and it's gross. So I just opened up the needle. So we're gonna start. Gotta take off the ball. Here we go. And I am not gonna ice it because I don't, I don't know. Quick disclaimer, if you do not like the sound of skin popping, skip this part. Ooh, I've heard that. I'm like halfway. Ooh. The needle's through. I just need to push it, like one last push. I don't know if you can like see it, through on the other side. So I think I'm just gonna take a deep breath and do one big push as hard as I can. Here we go. One. Okay. So there's the needle, you can see it. So now it's time to put in the jewelry. Hold on. Okay, I got the jewelry and the camera cut off. So now I just have to close it. Look at the needle. 
I almost, oh, I almost got the jewelry on, but like it's just like so hard and I'm sweating. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'll see you when it's in. So it's been like 20 minutes and I finally got the jewelry in. It's not perfect. It's like a little bended. I, I don't know. Um, cause I'm not a professional and I don't have all their tools and all that. Like, also ignore my terrible sunburn. Um, but yeah. I don't even know if I told y'all what my name was. My name's Rosa and this is pretty much the only videos I'm gonna ever post is me either like dyeing my hair or piercing myself cause that's all I really want to do. So yeah. That's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys in a future video, which will probably be of me either piercing my tragus or my triple forward helix, because that's what I want next, so yeah.